Hello everyone. This video focuses on, on how to write a C++ publisher in a ROS framework. From one of the earlier videos, I had showed you how to create a package in ROS. And there I had created a beginner tutorial package. I have the link for this video in the description below. Jumping right into this video, we'll go into the source folder and I have over here a Docker.cpp file. The first two lines are basic include commands. The first one is a header file for ROS and the second one is my header file for the specific publisher message that I have to publish. Over here, I'm going to use the packet standard messages and the message type would be string. Next, this is a simple C++ code which could be anything. Uh, th th this one is just to play with variables and strings in C++. Coming onto the main part, the init node. This is where my node initialization takes place. This word talker is what is my ROS node for this particular code. Next, I have a ROS node handle called n, which would be, which basically helps me initialize a node that I just created. Moving on now, ROS publisher, chatter pub, Advertise, standard messages, string, chatter, 10. Okay, this is a long syntax, but let me just break it down for you. The main important thing is the message type that I have to publish. Standard messages, string. This could be standard messages, float 32. This could be geometry messages, something. This could be, say, sensor messages, image, and so on. Chatter is what is my topic's name. If I do ROS topic list, chatter would be published or printed in the terminal. 10 over here is basically my queue size. We get into what queue size is and how to play around it in the future videos. Right now, you can have a value of 10 or 100 or 1000 so that you do not lose any messages that are being published. The next syntax over here is my loop rate. Loop rate is basically my sleep as to how many seconds or milliseconds that I have to wait after my while loop is run. So right now, if this is one, I am publishing one message every second. So if I have a loop rate over here, I have to have a loop rate dot sleep in my while loop. Moving on, this is where my first while loop starts to publish the message. What do you mean by while ROS OK? ROS OK is a simple hack to check if my node uh, is running successfully or not. If I press Control C, this is where my loop will exit. If another no node name is started with, suppose if another node is started with the same name of talker, my this code would exit. And basically, if I have a ROS master shutdown, this code will again exit because of this ROS OK. Moving on, what I have next over here is my local variable definition called message. Now, this is what my this variable is defined as standard messages string. I, I'll be storing whatever I have to print or publish in this local variable and then publishing it. Next, I'm having a simple C++ code over here to uh, create a variable called SS, store hello world, and then the count. This count will keep on increasing because I have over here in count is equal to zero and then plus plus count towards the very end. Now, what I have over here is message dot data. Now, since this is a string message, string message comprises itself of one factor that is data. If I have some other message, there would be some other factors or some other, you can say, syntax inside that message. So let, let me give you an example. Some of the messages will have header files. Some of the messages will have timestamps or number of rows or columns. All of that can be defined by just simply looking it up on the uh, ROS wiki page of what is there inside each message. So over here, what I have is message.data ss.string is just, I'm just giving that data weight value of ss.string. Finally, what I have to do is chatter pub dot publish message. I have a raw spin once command. This spin command basically helps me run the while loop again and again. For a publisher, it 
isn't needed but when i am uh, writing the code for a subscriber to call the callback function once i have this simple code ready all i need to do is two things now obviously cat can make but i'll have to have this executable file in the cmake list.txt as well so i have opened my cmake list over here uh what i'll need to copy or what i'll need to have over here is basically the executable file called uh this can be any name that i define i'm just calling it talker here and its location so it was inside source and then talker.cpp again this executable has to be uh, linked with the target link libraries so this is another line that i have to write over here save this comma uh, this text file exit it and finally i can go over here just do cat can make there were no errors so my cmake list was perfect and my talker.cpp was perfect now let me just start ros core in one of the terminals ros core is running properly and uh, i am just going to do ros topic list once and i have ros out and ros agg i'll source my workspace and i'm just gonna type in the command ross run package name which is beginner tutorial beginner tutorials and my um executable file which is called the talker and now it starts publishing my code so this is getting published at what one hertz one message per second there are multiple ways to basically debug if my messages are getting published properly or not or was what my um topic name is node name is ross node list gives me talker this this talker is what i had defined over here in one of the coming tutorials you can see how to uh play around with ross topic echo ross topic edge ross topic bandwidth stay tuned Robo Matrix.